Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today's little uh, vest pocket uh, video is I wanted to talk about types of chronographs. Um, Clyde had uh, mentioned to me, oh, he had a column wheel. I didn't know what a column wheel was in a chronograph. So I, uh, I spent some time finding out. It turns out that my own watch, uh, that's a chronograph, this little Beauvais Mono Retro Pump. And it's like just about every other chronograph. You push a button and that starts it. And the second hand starts going. And then you push it again and that stops it. And then you push it a third time and it goes back. There's another uh, button at the four o'clock that's used for the mono retro pump, but that's something else. Sort of like a pause button. Okay, uh, now that has a column wheel on. What happens with a column wheel? When I push the button, the column wheel starts spinning and it hits one of the levers that ticks the, uh, the seconds around. And that's <laughs> pretty much it. And um, the advantages and disadvantages of a column wheel, I'm not really sure. They have, the ones I've seen, there's some, uh, like this is from a Valju 84. The Valju, or which is the ETA 7750, has a cam. So there's, I mean, there's a difference, but I don't know if in terms of the quality of it, uh, if there's that much difference. Now, here's a cam. This is from uh, an Omega 861, a caliber 861. And if you can see the little error area that circled, there's a little cam. And again, it does the same thing. It starts, it stops, and then it resets. And uh, the when we when we look at the uh, the cam, it's really stacked in the same way that the uh, column wheel is. You have this little sort of castle thing on top and then this gear thing on the bottom on the column wheel. And here you just have two different shapes of of the of the cam that are hitting the uh, hitting the lever that's turning the seconds. Um now the next thing is that there are two types of clutches and it doesn't matter whether you have a cam or a column wheel uh, the clutch you could have either type of clutch with with those column uh, the column wheel or the cam that doesn't matter but the type of clutch you have apparently does matter <laughs> the horizontal clutch uh, you can see that at the top up there you've got one wheel going one way and another going another and the clutch sets it and it sort of jumps if you if you're um, uh, chronograph has a little when you first engage it it goes back a little uh you probably have a horizontal clutch now the the good thing about a horizontal clutch is they're fun to look at so if you have if you have an exhibition back uh you can see them a lot better uh your top watches uh, and your top watchmakers that p yarn uh, chronograph uh, chronograph uh, Rattrapont, uh titan uh, Zenus uh, El Primero, A Longa Datagraph, Glasshuda Original Panagraph, all of these use a horizontal clutch. Now, the horizontal clutch isn't, I mean, because it, it <laughs> whacks those two wheels together, that sort of knocks things off a little, and maybe you lose, you might lose a second. Well, if you're timing something, that can make a big difference, but it's fun to look at. Now, the vertical clutch, they're they're integrated it's integrated into the wheel train and so you don't lose anything on it they're a lot more oh they're more accurate it reduces wear there are all kinds of advantages to it but they're not very interesting to look at and so you'll find there are a lot of watches that are sealed up anyway uh seiko likes them a lot rolex daytona tag hoyer uh Ottavia. Yeah, they're they're more expensive to make, which is sort of interesting, but they're just not as much fun to look at. The people who use uh, horizontal clutches uh, sort of they argue, well, if you're really if you're really uh, careful with them, okay, and have a lot of precision, uh, then you can you can get some good quality from them. Okay, well uh, that's it. It's a little short vest pocket. You've got your column wheel. 
You have your cam, you got your horizontal clutch, and you got your vertical clutch. I haven't told you much, but just sort of to give you some idea. Uh, hope to see you next time. Until then, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Side, the art and science of Watch Collection. <music>